Hey everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Rain de Fleur. And we are on our second video here with Orpheus. And uh, we're still gathering information about him. Now we're just giving him a short little visit before we go and actually do our official visit with him. Because we're still doing our information gathering. Oh, but he's such a sweetheart. Look at him. I love his hair. It's like slightly disheveled, but in this kind of ethereal way somehow. It's so pretty. All right, well, Orpheus was just telling us uh, he'll do his best to entertain us. Let's see if he has anything else useful to tell us in our short little visit here. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. I would be glad. <laughs> I would be glad. I would be glad if you could take this. Up. I would be glad if you would take this opportunity to tell me more about yourself. Yes. I will be looking forward to that as well. He really doesn't seem to be adverse to being in this position. And as usual, those personal visits are short. I have heard a lot of things about him, and the most important things are... Which information do you want to use? That would be... Asagi's and Hubert's. Well, let's give this a try. I have prepared enough for now. I hope it will go well. Oh, this place is pretty. Thank you for coming, Violet. Thank you, too, for the invitation, Orpheus. And you, Asagi, thank you for welcoming me. My pleasure. Orpheus, you look very excited. Uh, is it showing on my face? I'm sorry, I didn't really mean for that. I was just excited, because this is the first time I've invited someone to my mansion. The first time? Yes, you're my first guest. I think you already know, but I was working as a traveling minstrel when I was in the land. So, I never had a family, or a place to call home. Ah. Uh, come to think of it, he was an orphan. Uh, I'm sorry if that made you feel weird. Please, don't give me that look. What I want to say is, that I'm simply excited to see you today. It's my honor to welcome you as my first guest. S same here, it is my pleasure. His way of speaking put me off balance, and I nearly spoke like him. <laughs> it is too bad that I feel nervous. Or perhaps I'm still just a bit too excited. I usually get along with people quickly, but maybe because it's you. Because of me. You are the only rain in this world, so... Well, do not mind that. I just want you to feel free. M what? This is just the beginning of a long-term friendship. Don't you think it will be difficult if we remain so distant? Are you sure of that? You're not going to get mad at me later on? Don't worry. Please, relax. Well then, I appreciate your kindness. Actually, I was thinking the same, that I would like for us to get close quickly. We may get along very well indeed. I don't know why, but the more I talk to him, the more relaxed I feel. I now understand why Asagi, who is known for giving strict evaluations, acknowledged his social skills. Hey, Asagi, she's just as wonderful as you told me. I have a feeling that today will be a very exciting day. Orpheus, this is a serious part of your duty as a knight, not hangout time. But mainly we're supposed to get to know each other, right? And the purpose is to build a trustworthy relationship. Yes, you can word it that way, but it still means the same thing. Perhaps, you might be right, but... Okay then, no problem. <laughs> wow, he won an argument with Asagi. And, and he managed not to get her riled up, the way she usually gets when dealing with Oronami. You just really impressed me. M what did I do? 
I couldn't help laughing because of the stupefied look on his purely innocent face. Please, have some tea. I hope this will suit Princess's taste. Thank you, I would love some. I am leaving then. Please, let me know if anything happens. What? Hold on a minute, Asagi. What is it? Don't tell me that you're leaving already. Let's all three of us spend some time together. Don't worry about me. You should not waste time on anything besides Princess right now. Yes, I know that, but... Just be polite to Princess. Then, I will excuse myself. Uh, okay. Oh, she left. Then... I'm sorry for being impolite. Things just aren't going so well. I'm always being scolded by Asagi, probably because I'm not good enough. Asagi is a kind person. Sometimes she just doesn't express herself well, but it doesn't mean that she hates you. Yes, I know that, so don't worry. But I seem to be getting along with you faster than with Asagi. Orpheus said this jokingly, shrugging his shoulders. I just smiled back at him. So then, let us try to get as close as possible so that Asagi will praise you. That sounds good. So, what shall we begin with? Well... Let's have a ravia. That will deepen our relationship. Winner Condition. Discuss Orpheus's thoughts and encourage him. I still feel nervous meeting with you like this officially. Uh, well, but this time it isn't because you're the rain. I have never really talked to a girl close to my age before. Is that so? I never stayed in one town long, so I don't really know how to treat girls my age. Because the important thing for people like me, or those who could offer us money, the sort of people who have enough money to pay for our shows, tend to hate scandals. I see. He was intentionally avoiding the women. Considering his looks, it's understandable. It's been two years since I was chosen as a knight, but old habits die hard. Especially staying in an amazing place like this. I start thinking about poetry or songs before I even realize it. I'm curious about how you see Partadam. Well, I've been learning so many things from Asagi since back when I was on the land. But actually seeing it with my own eyes is quite different from just hearing about it. This place deserves to be called Paradise. Everything here is just so beautiful. I feel like I'm in a fairy tale. When I saw the carriage flying in the sky, I was so amazed that Asagi couldn't snap me out of it. Although they are common here, I assume there are many differences between the land and Partadam. How has Partadam been treating you? Do you feel uncomfortable being in such a different environment? I get surprised sometimes, but that doesn't mean I'm uncomfortable. Rather, I feel blessed. I experienced far more hardships as a traveler. Okay. All of the Hanabitu here are so kind to me. I was even given lots of candy from some people who were just passing by the other day. It looks like he has become the apple of their eye in this short time. It is quite impressive. I am glad to hear that you are doing well here. It is such a relief for me. However, how are you doing as a knight? Uh, well... Are you feeling comfortable in that capacity? Well, of course. That's why I'm here. If there's anything I can do, then I will try my best. I'm not sure if I'm giving you an ideal answer. Seems he is not as confident as before. Okay, well, what do you think of the moon in Partadam? Uh, what? Asagi told me that you often look up at the moon. He seems kind of mad about that. She was a little worried that you looked sad whenever you do that. Is that so? Asagi had been noticing that. But it's nothing so serious, and it's not a fun story to tell. 
a story that we will hear in the next episode because we're out of translation for this one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, oh, but Orpheus is so sweet. He is such a cute little sweetie pie. <laughs> and I hope we can boost his confidence and his ability to be a knight soon. Ah. <sighs> Alright, well I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.